This is Stuart Weiler speaking to you from Elite Digital Enterprise, the division of the Elite Aerospace Group. And I'm going to show you in this video how to use the PTC License Center in order to manage your licenses for Creo. In order to get started, you'll probably have already wanted to uh, find your host ID. And I show how to do so in another video, so I recommend viewing that if you don't already have the host ID. Assuming that you do have the host ID, you want to go to ptc.com and from their site when you browse down a little bit you'll see a button for manage licenses i'm actually on the support site right now but from ptc.com you'll see the same you'll see support and you'll see manage licenses so click on this link and it'll open up the license center so you can see this is now the license management it should have your company name in the blue bar with your customer number as well, if you needed to see that for reference. And there are a couple different actions I'll show you today. Uh, we'll do asset management, showing you how to create a new host ID, and then various actions that you might do with the licenses. For asset management, if you needed to create a new site or create a new contact, you can do that. But I'll just focus on the hardware management for now. If this is your first time in the License Center, you'll need to create your host so you do so by clicking the button over here, create host slash triad. You can type in or copy paste your host ID. And I recommend using the host ID as the host name, just eliminates any confusion. You know that you're using a set ID for that. And then you'll choose your contact from the list, assuming that you already have it. If not, you can create the contact here. You do have to have a site already. There will be a site in your account. So you simply just go to the site selector button and choose from the list which of these is the correct one and then click on update customer site. Once you have the host ID, the host name, the contact and the site number populated, you can click on create host and that will add this to your assets. When you want to see all of the assets, you can, from asset management and hardware management, just click on search hardware, and this will give you a list of all of your entities. So you can see this is our license server. You can see by the host name that we actually called it Lick Server to tell us that it's the license server. If we had locked licenses, we would probably have more of them because instead of assigning all of our licenses to a single server, we would have our licenses assigned to individual computers. For license management, you go to license actions, and then from the drop down, choose advanced search. And you can click on search, and that'll bring up all of the licenses that you have. From the results, you'll see there are two tabs available licenses and installed licenses. If you don't have any installed, then you may not see this tab just yet. The available licenses are the ones that you can choose to add to a server or to a PC right now. Installed licenses are ones that we would manage a little bit differently. So I'll start by just adding an available license. To do so, you would just choose any of the boxes. You can choose multiple if you wanted, but for now, for simplicity, we'll just choose one. And once it's selected, click on Install License. Choose the quantity. So if you have more than one, make sure that you are careful not to assign the wrong number. So if I want to just assign one, or if I wanted to assign all five for a server, I could do that. And then the host ID should populate once you start adding it. You can see I've got the same host ID that we saw previously in asset management. And then you can choose either a zip or a text file, because once you click on install licenses, you'll receive an email from ptc.com. It'll actually come from do not reply at ptc.com, and that'll have the license file attached to it. And that's what you'll use in order to assign the licenses. I'll show you how to add the licenses in a separate video. To manage the installed licenses, just click on the installed license tab, and you can see now here are all of the licenses that are assigned. So we have currently all of these are assigned to our license server. If I wanted to retrieve the license file, that would just send me a new copy of the same license. I'm not moving it, I'm not assigning it, just asking PTC to resend that license file to me. This would be, for example, if I needed to reassign the license 
but I couldn't find the previous file. So you click on the button here, you can see with the check mark, and then click on the button for retrieve license. Once you click that, you'll receive an email about a minute, maybe two later, that has that license file attached. The other action you might need to do is if you want to remove a license from either a server or a PC, same idea would be you select your license and then click on deinstall license. That will allow you to remove the license and then be able to assign it to another uh, server or another computer. Or if I wanted to move it directly with the license selected, you click on mute, move license. Again, choose your quantity and then enter your host ID. It needs to be assigned to a host ID that already exists in the license center. So that's why we started with the asset management. And once you've entered it, click on move license. There will be a verification. You have to go through and just say that you are going to be removing the license from the previous asset. And again, a license file will be emailed to you. Another action that you may take is to manage temporary slash locked license. This is available if you have a floating license. If you have a license server with floating licenses, but you want to move one of them to a individual computer temporarily, this is what you would do. By clicking on this, you're gonna convert the license from floating to locked in order to assign it to an individual computer. That way you don't have to set up a license server on that computer. It would just be serving as a locked license. And then finally, rev up. If you have a license of Creo and a new version of Creo comes out, you may just need to rev up in order to make sure that you have access to it. So for example, if when you purchased your license, Creo 6 was the latest, but now Creo 7 is available. If you wanna make sure that your license is at that version, then you would just click on the rev up button. There are other videos that we put together to show you license management. So we'll see another video on how to find the host ID, also how to run the reconfigure tool and assign a floating license. And then lastly, another video that will show you once you've received your license file from ptc.com as a locked license, how to assign that and put that on your computer. Hope these videos help you with your license management.